大家好 ，This is Jonathan Chow with Las Vegas Sotheby's International Realty, and I'm taking you today on a tour inside Southern Highland Country Club to check out 20 Pebble Hills Court. Now this is a full custom, a modern take to a classic Tuscan style home. And when I say full custom, I mean you can do anything you want. To a point where they added two separate driveways on each side of the house to get into your four car garage. Now let's go check out this property and I wanted to show you exactly how much work it's put into this home. Let's go. Now coming up, you'll see that Egyptian limestone paved the way all the way into the front courtyard. Desert landscape is a common theme here in Las Vegas, but I love what they've done here. There's a, a bit of kind of transition of different type of plants, and it still gives it that lush feel. Courtyard, I'm a big fan of. I always love homes with courtyards because it helps with the transition when you first get in. You have a different vibe when you walk into a courtyard. Now it feels a little more tranquil, lush. And it's just a place that you'd want to spend a little bit of time before you go open the front door and and see what's inside, right? There's multiple entrances through the courtyard to get inside the house. This is obviously the main entrance, but there's a fireplace outside with some covered patio, and you know sometimes in the morning time you can come out, grab your mail, stretch a little bit, have a cup of espresso. That's the place to be. All right, French door, steel doors. And it actually has this really unique feature. Check this out. I've never seen anything like this before. Have you? Now that's a statement. Coming inside, I noticed that there's some really dramatic wallpaper, and that's what this property reminds me of. Is this, there's there's some drama going on in here that I, I I like. It just works, right? This texture on the wallpaper, this curved mirror, and a black ceiling that kind of tapers through the entryway before you get into the main. Living area. Now I want to introduce you to someone very special, my friend and my colleague Stacy Hamilton. Great to see you, Johnny. Thanks for too. coming over. Congratulations! This is an amazing listing, and Stacy、so、has some of the coolest homes, and a lot of them that you've toured with us is Stacy's listings. So I wanted you to tell us a little bit about this home, and you know, a little story if there's something that the audience would want to know. Well, this is a, a home that's very special to me. I represented these clients.、Mm -hmm. um, they came from California. They purchased this home with me three years ago. Okay. So we got to see. It did not look like this. So I'm so glad that you get to see it today. So this was recently renovated. This was.、Uh, it, it's been a labor of love、okay. <laughs> for them. So they purchased it from the developer, from、mm -hmm. the builder, and、um, it was kind of unique because they were in California and we were here. So we're doing. Uh, a lot of this via FaceTime, FaceTime. okay, which See, was great. Technology nowadays、yes. really make magic happens. It does, and you can do deals that way.、Yep. So this deal really happened、mm -hmm. through FaceTime,、um, and then they came and then they saw the home and they fell in love with it. They redid the whole house,、mm -hmm. the exterior, the courtyard. When you came up, that was just gravel. I love that place. So you've got the beautiful.、Uh, Porcelain tiles outside and、mm -hmm. the gorgeous plantings. I'm sure you appreciated that when you came in.、100%. You like a nice cigar, so、yes. you could enjoy sitting、She、out、knows. there. She's a friend. I told you. <laughs> with your cocktail, with your bourbon or whiskey, and your yes, cigar out、yes. front.、Um, so they redid the kitchen, and、uh, I can't wait for you to tour it. So enjoy looking around.、Perfect. Help yourself. Thank and you, I'm、Stacey. here if you have any questions. Thank you very much. Now、My、let's、pleasure. go check out this、House、property. This is all yours. Thank you. So now we are in the living room area, and I wanted to point out a few things. First, we talked about different shapes that complements each other. When you have square layouts of furniture, you want to round it off with such as these type of chandelier. But also, the texture matters a lot too. So this fireplace with the stone wall that goes up 20 feet high on the ceiling gives that additional texture that really balances the space out really well. Mo. Somebody left me a little surprise. This is bourbon. You guys know I'm a bourbon guy, so I'll, I'll have a place for that later. Okay, now coming through here, you got these ten foot high slider doors that will bring you out to the backyard. And honestly, twenty foot ceiling is is as dramatic as it can get, right? 
And then you have these contrasting colors, the dark, the light. This is really what a custom home is about, is when you can start playing with the different colors and, and palettes and, and textures to create the impression that you want. Now I know where this bourbon belongs now. Check out this amazing wine rack that they have. Kind of a focal point, right? This is also a, a talking point of, you got the stair ladder, the sliding ladder that can get you up to the top to get your, uh, what would that be, a Cristal? Or you can just grab your smoke wagon, Las Vegas distilled bourbon. You got a, uh, a full bar here with a wine fridge from uh, with Sub-Zero. This is kind of cool, it's like a tree stub, painted silver, like I said, Lots of drama, I like it. And you have this dining room, formal dining, framed, and then you walk in, transitions into a very colorful, lively area. Going past the formal dining, we arrive at the kitchen. The first thing I notice is the different color that they've gone with, where the island is the darker, you got the dark granite lifted, also with the waterfall, mitered edge and then the cabinets to match. And then you have a lighter color, high gloss cabinets to kind of contrast from what they originally have here. Also really interesting is these pendant lights. I mean, they look very sci-fi. It reminds me of something you would see in a X-File series or something with the disc on the top and it just reflects. That's really cool and I like how they're not afraid to challenge the conventional norm of what a design should look like, right? Now I walk past the Wolf appliance, of course double oven, also Wolf. You got some exposed um, uh, pantry area where you can showcase some of your, your nice uh, glassware or dining ware. This is an interesting addition. This is like a entertainment center almost. Currently have the security cameras um, you know, playing, but you can obviously play a, a, a show, a movie, or just watch a game. You got your Wolf espresso machine and your microwave, and then this really unique wallpapered walk-in pantry. It almost looked like it's infinite because of the way the wallpaper is made. Coming back this side, because I missed a few things, you got the pot filler. It makes it a lot more convenient for you when you're cooking pasta. And then check out these cabinets. They have the dovetail seam. That's a sign that this is a well-built cabinet. It's long-lasting, and of course, you got the soft close, which is a must. Now, I know I called this area the great room earlier, I mean, the living room earlier, but it's actually the great room. This is the living room, and you kind of have your dining area here as well. The living room is a lot more brighter and airier. It's a lighter color, so you want to spend a little more time here. You feel like you can relax, maybe find some inspiration, read a book. You got a linear fireplace, stack stone, kind of goes all the way up this side of the wall. There's also stack stone on the great room and the primary bedroom, but in different sizes and color. So this is what I mean. Not afraid to express and challenge the norm of design and doing different textures to complement each other. Coming on this side, you got these pocket corner doors. This is very popular. It's a very nice statement for when you wanna host and, in, and entertain, including the indoor outdoor living, pocket doors in the corner is a must. Now these are 10 foot high, and most of the windows as you see throughout the house are floor to ceiling at 10 foot height, creating a very dramatic effect. So the flooring I didn't mention earlier, but these are 40 by 20 tiles. That is just enormous, right? On a typical home, this is going to appear very big, but when you have an 8,000 square foot home, single story that you're trying to cover, you're going to need something that large and dramatic to cover the flooring area. To my right, you'll see the French door opens up to a gym. It used to be a media room, but they've converted it to a gym since. But it still has the tray ceilings that you saw in the primary bedroom. Now the home has two wings. You got the primary bedroom in the east wing and then you got this gym and guest bedroom in the west wing. And each side has its own garage. Now this is a generous three car garage at 12 foot height ceiling so you can add lifts to fit additional vehicles. The other side of the wing has a two car garage. And you have some cabinetry here for storage. This was originally the kitchen cabinets that they repurposed and made it into garage storage space. And then you got an entryway that will take you over to the front courtyard. In total, this home is 8,000 square feet, five bedrooms, and seven baths. 
Each bedroom is an ensuite, so it has its own full bath with the additional two guest bathrooms. Now that we're inside the primary bedroom, the first place you see is this dramatic primary closet. And this is just one of two. 12 foot ceiling all the way to the top with mirrored ceilings. And uh, you ask, how do you reach all the clothes up top? There's actually a way of you pulling it down and there's the whole mechanism, but it's not gonna require you to take a ladder every time. You have a second walk-in closet here in the primary bath that we'll get to here lately. Sprawling a thousand square feet. It's like a condo in its own. I see a lot of different dimensions in this room. I notice that there are tray ceilings. There's also an accent wall with ambient lighting, different textures. And because of how big this space is, that helps creating some dimension for this large room. You have a retreat here where you have a wet bar, some very beautiful cabinetry and a unique handle. Your coffee machine's a must-have. And this multi-dimensional wall, it's just made with some kind of stone material. I can't really tell what it is. It could be marble, it could be, no, marble wouldn't work well with the fireplace. So maybe some kind of quartzite. And then you got this gas fireplace, linear fireplace that just works well for this room. And then another counter space where you can enjoy a glass of champagne or a wine at night. I love the different colors that they have going on, the dark floors, the white walls, and they have these floor to ceiling windows that gives in enough natural light to compensate for the darker colors that they chose for this room. Now the sliding door pockets all the way behind this wall, behind this beautiful Marilyn Monroe uh, picture. All right, coming into the primary bathroom, I feel like I just crossed over to a different time zone because it's so much brighter and, and lighter and airier than the primary bedroom itself where it was dark and warm. And this just feels like a place where you'd wake up to and have a great start of your day. What I see here is dual sink. You got this herringbone style flooring. The tray ceiling also kind of have that dimensional feel here. I love what they're doing with this chandelier. It kind of mimics bubbles, right? And it's right above this standalone tub. It just works. The placement is perfect. And behind this wall, there is actually a, a steam shower, a walk-in dual entry steam shower with seven shower heads. It's almost like going through a car wash. You just walk in, spin yourself around, and the shower's done. Now we gotta check out this super impressive primary closet. Obviously, you can tell it's likely the, the wives' closet where most of her prized possessions are here. Shoes, purses, check out that red safe. Wow, that is really cool. That's like a, like a high gloss red safe. I don't know, I feel like sometimes you thought you've seen it all with certain closets that I've shown in some of my tours, and then you have this, and then you're just like, okay, I definitely have not seen it all even a chandelier in the middle of the closet. It's amazing, impressive. We were joking about how do you retrieve the purses on the top? Do you throw a hook up there and pull it down or you put a step ladder and try to grab it? I don't know, only the owner will know that. Trivia. Now through these sliders, we're now in the backyard. First thing I notice is this beautiful fire pit wrapped in granite and the gas is already pre-plumbed, so in a hit of a switch, you got this beautiful, magical fireplace going on. The Egyptian limestone that we saw in the front courtyard continues throughout towards the back, and then you got this amazing water feature that just constantly runs and gives you that tranquil vibe that one expects at a home like this. Now this house is sitting on 21,000 square feet, so there's a lot of land to play with, and this owner decided to section off three areas for the backyard, Number one being this pool. Look at the details down to these linear drainage around the pool area, where it's not your traditional kind of, you know, wide gap drainage. And then you got your beach area, you got the lounge chairs, pebble tech finishes, and of course, this amazing waterfall. The second area would be this outdoor kitchen. Now, a lot of times people love to entertain when the weather is good in the outside. So this is the perfect place for it. And they made it just as detailed and luxurious as the indoor kitchen, right? They got the waterfall countertops, the mitered edge. You got your American-made grill. That's a hybrid system. You got your cooling, refrigerator, wet bar, TV, dishwasher. 
Now they strategically put the pool equipment here and it's covered by the same stone wall. So it really is a very seamless way to kind of lay out the equipment that is not always so pretty. They got the hybrid uh, synthetic grass throughout the side yard. You can do a lot of things with this. You can do your morning yoga, exercise, play with the kids. And what's cool is they added a full bath here. This is one of the seven baths so that the guest that's using the pool doesn't need to step inside and make the floors all wet. They can just come over here and do their business. Now all the plants in the backyard were handpicked by the owner. They strategically chose ones that are gonna grow like these could go up another six foot and it's gonna create this privacy wall that just feels like you're in a, a, a little secret garden of your own. The third section of this backyard is gonna be on this side of the wing. So you have a lot of covered areas that will shade you from the hot Vegas summer, including the secondary covered area and these really cool swings. I don't know if I should try it, but probably not. The owner really liked gardening, so they created this section to be their full garden with multiple citrus trees. There are peppers. I heard there's even a lettuce pot down there. I feel like I didn't really give the pool the, the proper introduction as it should because, I mean, just look at the water feature, right? This waterfall spans what? Maybe 30 feet wide? And it's so simple, but yet impressive. With the RGB lighting, color changing, you can change the mood, change the tone of this backyard with the touch of a button. Now I wanna talk a little bit about the architectural design of this home because this community is known for the Tuscan style, Mediterranean style architecture, but this builder decided to add a bit of a modern twist to it so you see the slanted roof line with that kind of a modern industrial feel to it I think it worked really well for this home. What do you guys think? We're finally able to properly use a fireplace as it's been so hot in Las Vegas, but now we're hitting the 30 degree weather and it's gonna snow any minute, I feel like. So Southern Highland community is unique because most people that's moving to Las Vegas, they hear of Summerlin, Henderson. Southern Highland is that best kept secret here. It's located in the Southwest part of town. It's accessible to California and all the future developments that's taking place in the Southwest, Southern Highland gets first dibs on. This particular community called the Southern Highland Country Club is even that much more exclusive. They have a membership only clubhouse that's currently on a wait list. There's a golf course, there are restaurants, everything that you can think of, they have here in Southern Highland. So the reality is you're purchasing not just this beautiful home, but also a very exclusive, elegant lifestyle. I wanna thank you guys for following me through. Happy New Year to everyone. The year of 2024 is gonna be a busy, exciting year, and I can't wait to share what other properties we have lined up for you. See you guys next time. Zai Jin.